MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Fuck. <laughs> they took it over. They took it over this whole place. Holy shit. You can barely see them. Wait, did it took out the whole thing? No, it's just this area. Yeah, they spread all the way over here. Fuck. Let me see, did I get a new suit? I did not. How about Miles? He did. Across the Spider-Verse. <laughs> oh. I need to get more of these, god damn it. Or this. I need rare tech points. You know what? I'm gonna do the main mission. I wanna know what's their plan. Yeah, I wanna know where the fuck is the meteorite. The last chance to collect resources to upgrade gear before the end of the story. Oh, this is the end? Fuck! Alright. Oh my god, we have so many things to do. Oh. But I'm not gonna do this one. Fuck that. I am not gonna do that one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna do that one. That's the goddamn sure. Alright, Miles. I'm gonna switch to Miles. <gasps> Spider Man. It's Norman Osborne. Mr. Osborne? Did you mean to request my partner? I already spoke to him. Now I'm talking to you, my son, Harry. He needs. We're not gonna let anything happen to your son. Do I have your word? I know what it's like to lose someone, too. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you, Spider-Man. Is this foreshadowing that I, I might kill Harry? He keeps telling me that he needs to save his son, save his son. And in the end, we will kill his son. <laughs> Is this fucking foreshadowing? I hope I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> Fuck. Is this how it is? <laughs> Someone that we know or, or what Peter cares about, a friend or family dies? Or Miles' friend? This friend almost died too. <laughs> well, she, she was gonna get turned. Man, both of these guys will lose the fucking partner <laughs> in the fucking game. Oh, or a friend. Fuck. I, I hope we don't fucking kill them. Listeners, I implore you, stay inside your homes. Lock the doors. Board the windows. Trust no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like hell itself. They're capturing us, converting us, and will soon overtake us. Don't give them the chance. While the government sits on its hands, my loyal listeners have taken to the forums, looking for any signs of weakness these creatures show. We will defend ourselves. We know we can't count on the Spider-Men to save us. If this last week's events have proven anything beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through this. New York does not go down without a fight. And I will be there. Right next to you, on the front lines. Godspeed. May we all see tomorrow. Okay, I thought they were gonna say the weakness. 
Like, they said he said the form of their weakness. Like, he's telling his viewers to go to the form and tell oh, about their nice. weakness. I thought he was going to say the, the high frequency. You know what? I think I'm ready. Yeah, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I think. Oh, let's do this. I think I'm ready to face Venom. I'm ready to fucking end, end the story. <laughs> I just don't want, you know, fucking Harry to die. <laughs> Where the fuck are you looking at? Huh? Why, why are you staring at this house, huh? Do you know? I think she knows. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna fucking end the story. I want to know. I, I definitely want to know if Harry or Peter is gonna, you know, decide to, you know, I just hope, I, I, I hope it doesn't give me the option to. Fuck. But to kill Harry, because there's no way to save him. And I don't know if we do do that. It, it, that pretty much explains how um uh Norman might turn into the Green Goblin. I just fucking hope not do it. And I where the fuck is this fucking rock? Yes. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world, but the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock for illustrative purposes. All right, fire up the accelerator. <sighs> no more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. <sighs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted.
Here's the thing, though. You're gonna have to catch me first. Shoot that! Wait. Wait. Oh! Alright. What the fuck is this? Flares? I hope they made it out. I think it's Norman. Norman! Farther down, but it's this close. What the fuck? It's too easy. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world.
Please let this lead somewhere good. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> you might jinx us. Oh shit. Here's something. This guy. Almost out of this hellhole. Looks like uh, the exit's just past that chopper. Can I sneak attack on them? No. I'm back to sneak attack. It doesn't allow me. Fuck. They're, they know I'm here. Why am I ducking you down? Long reach. Fuck! Back away, demon! Come on, my ammo. Okay. Up that ladder, and I'm in the clear. Just jinxing everything! How am I supposed to fight this motherfucker? Ah, oh, fuck! It's a behemoth! Hey, guys. Hey, I think that hurt it. Fuck, I can't dodge, can I? Oh, yeah, I can, I can. Oh, he hit himself, he hit himself. Okay, okay. Oof! That's symbiote's big. But I'm fast. There we go. Oh, oh, fuck. Uh. Let's get the hell out of here. What the fuck was that? Time to go, Miles. Plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Harry! Us while 
we were fighting for our lives. I was trying to save you!
this rock, man. Our future a piece of shit. doesn't belong to you. Trust me. Don't want your future. <laughs> Motherfucking grew wings. I made a promise, Harry, that I'd fight for you. You don't care about me. You don't know us. Harry talking to us. Another symbiote. Can I, can I whip his wings? This guy, damn it. 
can't see the world be. Together. some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try. Please don't die on me!
Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you, wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> 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 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <laughs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Hey, bro. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Hi. I uh, hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. Some guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Thank you. 
This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. Congratulations, you have finished the main story, but both Peter and Miles are still available to continue the adventure. You can now start a fresh new adventure with the ultimate difficulty. Oh my What's god. What's up, New York? There's more Mysteriums out there. You should check them out. Fuck the Mysterium! <laughs> I don't want to play those! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Fucking random. So yeah, I actually thought we we're gonna kill Harry. He, he almost died, <laughs> but uh, Miles pr bring them back to life. Now Norman, even though we brought him back to life, he, he Miles, uh, not Miles, Harry, like some kind of in a coma. Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. What Drove the back fuck you mean we did it? Alien invasion, and we did it together. As heroes, the Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today, I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes, author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out. With all of you out there, I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up. No exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth. Warps it into something else, like a, a, like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson signing off. So yeah, a lot of things happening. Peter, I don't know, is, is he retiring as Spider-Man for now? I mean, fuck, Miles is going to have a, a lot of work, but Miles is going to fight Cletus Cassidy, carnage. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, yeah, I, I love this game. No one died. No one important we care about died. Only pe person that died are the, uh, are the villains. <laughs> like Scorpion, uh, Electro. Vulture and Craven. God damn it. Oh. Well, Venom, I, but I'm not sure if he's actually dead. He, he could be alive. He could be like, I don't know, maybe like part of him is still inside of Harry. So, yeah. We save Harry, but he's now in a coma. But Norman still blames the uh, Sp Spider Man or Peter or Miles. Because. I don't know. How, what, what, he, what did he expect us to do? He, he was a venom. He was a beast. How, how the hell were they gonna, you know, like not uh, like injure him? He was like out of control. They had to do something. <laughs> and now he's going to Doctor Octavius. To know the identity of the spider, or Peter, or Miles. But I don't think he, well, he might tell him. He, I don't know. He might. We're not really that sure. 
we see anything else here? What the fuck? The Crimson Cow and what's Peters? Oh, the stealth suit. <laughs> so yeah, fuck. I just, I don't know. I just don't want an end already. I just want to, I want more, damn it. <laughs> I want more. I want to fight more, uh, uh, enemies more well like like super villains and i want to know more of the like more of the story now of cletus cassidy i want to know him if you know like if he's gonna be the main villain of this i don't know maybe the third spider-man or spider-man 3 or norman osborne i i think norman's gonna be the next villain because he said Get the G serum ready. I think that's when he gets like his other personality. Oh, fuck. I just, I just want the game already. But it's gonna take like another couple of years to make. <laughs> fuck. Oh, we're really gonna make some DLC. Oh yeah. Wait, can I be Peter? I can. What's Peter doing? Oh. Break time's over. Oh so yeah, I think Peter. I don't know. Maybe I don't think he's gonna quit, or he might quit. Cause he almost lost the whole Harry. Maybe he doesn't want to do the job no more because he don't want to see no one close to him die again. So yeah, this is pretty much the end. But fuck. Now, Harry. I, I just want to. I just hoping they make a game of Venom. I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to play as Venom again. Like, he's going through the fucking walls, beating the shit out of everybody, biting people's head off. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, yeah. It's pretty much the end. Uh, I just hoping they make a game, another game of Spider-Man fast. Even though I didn't complete all the side quests, but uh, it's the end. And ooh, Dr. Octavia said that the final chapter, I hope that's not the final chapter. <laughs> I hope. Like, you know, like, maybe it is the final chapter of the Spider-Man games. Like, I don't know. The end, the end. Like, it, it has to end someday. But fuck. I hope, hope it doesn't end. I want more, damn it. I want more. Oh, but... Let me think. Well, the villains that wasn't here. It's Green Goblin. Yeah, that's one. Carnage, well, we saw him. Are they gonna bring Dr. Octavius back? I think they will. Ah, uh, who else? Who else like the, is a common enemy? Ah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I just hoping they make... I don't know. I just don't know what to say anymore. So yeah, thank you for watching, please click the like and subscribe, and please have a great day.